Hey YouTube, you guys crushed it on the Fusion 360 spacer part last time. Now let's see if we can get a multicolored nameplate to the printer and do it under 10 minutes. Hey YouTube, welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Will. I am a 65 year old man trying to learn Fusion 360 so I can create my own STL files and make my own parts to sell on Amazon. So welcome to the channel. Um, last week, or yeah, last week we did a spacer for my little camera. It's just a little plastic thing, but it only took us minutes to do. Uh, and, and that was including the print time. We, I think we're done in 15 minutes, but um, a nice little, little spacer. And I've had so much fun, I, I thought we'd do something else. And my grandson had came to me and wanting a little nameplate uh, for his teacher to put on her door. And I thought, well, that would be a great thing to go ahead and just do with you guys. So um, I wanted to do that. And then I thought to myself, well, you know, how can we... I'd like to see some of the nameplates, personally. I'd like to see them. But how can I do that? You can't post a picture on YouTube. So uh, there's my Facebook page. I know Facebook is old. Um, uh, it's right next to my Napster. Um, and if you guys don't know what Napster is, then <laughs> you are young. Um, but I have a Facebook page there. It's through, uh, Blue Ridge 3D Printing. I'll leave a link down below. Um, also, if you don't have Fusion 360, don't worry, there's a link below and it's free. All you got to go there is just, uh, you know, hit that and, and take in the home version. It'll take you a few minutes to get everything downloaded. So if you want to, you can go ahead and pause and we'll all wait till you get back. <laughs> so anyway, let's get started. <laughs> So what we're going to do is reach up and run to our sketch uh, toolbar and grab the sketch tool and then we're going to touch down on the plane that we want to do our sketch on. Uh, now we can reach up and grab our rectangle or hit R and then we'll set our first point. After that you can let the mouse go and just pull back and you'll see the two fields to put our measurements in. The first field is going to be 100 millimeters and then if you hit the tab You'll see that it switches the fill, uh, fills for you. Uh, we'll type in 200 millimeters and hit enter. So that's our sketch for the base of our nameplate. Uh, we'll go ahead and select that. And then we'll go up to the solid tab, which is above the sketch you can create. And hit the extrude button or you can hit E. And then we're going to go ahead and type in 5 millimeters and extrude it to 5. So that's our base plate right there. Uh, really all we're going to do is put a little frame on top of it and throw some uh, text. Um, the, really the time consuming part is, is painting it in the, um, the slicer. So let's go ahead and, and select a rectangle. And we're going to come in and create what size border you want around the top. And then we're going to highlight that and hit E or hit the extrude button. And we're going to pull it up two millimeters. And then that's our basic plate uh, with a border on it. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, do our text. So we'll have to go to the sketch and hit the plane we're going to do it on. And then go to the drop down menu in the create uh, button and grab text. We'll open up a text field and go ahead and put in. Uh, whatever text you're wanting to put in, uh, set the um, uh, the font size. And in this case, it's going to be about 28 uh, millimeter. And then you can right mouse click on the letters, and then grab the little block, and you can move around your text and place it where you want. So now I'm going to highlight it again. Go ahead and drop down. Grab another text field, open that up, and I'm going to put in 3D printing or 3D prints. We're going to need to adjust that text down to, let's go down to 18 pixels. 
There we go. Uh, right mouse click on a letter oh, and move it. Grab the block and you're able to move your stuff around. Hit enter. And then we're ready for uh, to ex extrude the uh, lettering. So we highlight the lettering and then hit extrude. And then we type in the two millimeters, which brought that up. Now we lose our sketch uh, at this point. So what you'll do is go over to your left hand uh, folders and go down to sketch and then open that folder and then turn on all the sketches back on. And now we can go ahead and highlight 3D prints and we'll extrude it uh, to two millimeters. And if you made it this far, if you would go ahead and give us a like or subscribe, we would highly appreciate it. It does help our channel to grow. And that's about it for this. Um, we have set it up so it has raised letters and a raised border. Uh, so let's go ahead and send that over to um, our, our slicer. I'll go ahead and e export this. So we're going to go down to File, or over to File, and go down to Export. And then we're going to name uh, your file. And then in the drop down box here, we're going to go down to the bottom to the STLs. Um, this is going to go in my download file and it's there so let's go ahead and open up bamboo studios and we'll go ahead and take the file from my downloads and just drop it right on the plate and we'll go to coloring this is going to take a minute because not only do we have to do the tops, but we have to do the sides and the insides. And, and uh, so it takes a minute to do this part. Now, we can save steps by um, creating new bodies on top of the original plate that we uh, had extruded uh, to make the plate. But that's going to be a little bit more than you you would probably be interested in doing. This is something you've all, probably already done, and so the painting part won't won't take us too long. It it will take us a minute though. So while I do this, I can tell you the next time uh, we are going to be printing a external dryer vent for my wife she's hit me up a few times and if you guys remembered I did the ASA and the nylon carbon fiber um, a couple of plates that will go um, up against the bricks that allows the uh, dryer vent to go in uh, but anyway I pulled one off of off of bamboo uh, just a little flappy little dryer vent and it was just as thin as a card, a playing card. I'm thinking to myself, you know, how long is that going to last, number one? And, and why would you put something up on bamboo to give away something so cheesy? Uh, but maybe you can take it and put it in Fusion and, and alter it. But most of the time, once it's in an STL file, it's really hard to get it to go back to a solid once it becomes a mesh file. Um, there's so many triangles involved that it can't it can't straighten it out so you pretty much have to go back to the drawing board almost done with this oh my god I didn't think it was going to take this long I saw the bottom of the lettering uh, about done with this and then we're going to do the outside border and the inside of the border and then we're really going to send it to the printer uh, it's only going to take us about two hours and four minutes to to print and um, as long as it takes me to edit something that should be about the right time
Unbelievable. It might have been easier just to show you how to create new new bodies on on the uh, on the plate. Now I've only been doing this for approximately I don't now about five or six weeks, and it's still a challenge. And I still have to pull AI out every now and then to figure something out. But it's gotten so much easier for me. It's um, Especially if I go in and, and do a, a paper, a pen and paper sketch and then do all my measurements. So let's see, two hours. I think we're done. Yep. All right, so it's been a couple hours later. So let's see how my plate turned out. So it's a, it's a nice little gift if you're wanting to give something to somebody or, or do something nice. Uh, but, yeah, I like it. It's not very thick. Uh, it could be used as a double-sided tape and have it stuck someplace. Um, but uh, as you can see, all the sides are all red. Um, looks like I did miss one little spot right there on the three. And of course, I was in a hurry. I'm so sorry. Uh, but anyway, uh, that was kind of fun. Um, I don't know what we're printing. Well, I do know what we're printing. We're printing a vent that's thicker than that, right? But So I know what I'm printing next, and I hope you're there with me, YouTube. Thank you so much for coming in. Um, I'm sorry it took me long to, to paint it, uh, but we still managed to get it uh, uh, designed and sent to the printer within 10 minutes. So... Thank you so much for joining me, um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, YouTube.